The first book that you read of an author makes or breaks his image. There's a fat chance that you may not touch another book by an author if you start with one of Hiso Medica's works. You will hate a legendary author like John Grisham. If you started with a novel that wasn't among the best books of John Grisham, John Grisham is considered a legend in courtroom thrillers. He is a lawyer turned full-time writer and a former member of the Mississippi House of Representatives. It's no wonder the man can spin one hell of a legal thriller full of brisk-paced action, legal battles, a gripping storyline and unforgettable characters. He has won Harper Lee Prize twice for his legal thrillers. So it's a hoaxa shot in the legal fiction arena. The man has penned down 47 bestsellers and many of them are adapted into movies. I have read several novels of his bestsellers and selected these top 10 best books by John Grisham after hours of research and pick and choose practice. Watch this video till the end to find out why I have shortlisted these 10 out of the dozens. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Links to the books are given in the description below. Number 10. Rogue Lawyer So the first one I am about to discuss is Rogue Lawyer. Sebastian Rudd isn't like your favorite Harvey Specter from Suits. There is no spacious office in a law firm or a pretty secretary or a really sharp assistant with a photographic memory. Sebastian is what you call a rogue lawyer in the lawyer's community. His office is a bulletproof van with bare minimum stuff and stable Wi-Fi to keep him going. He only has an armed driver who transforms into his bodyguard, clerk, confident and caddy whenever needed. He is called rogue for defending people whom other lawyers won't even bother to waste a second of their time on. The reason for his unusual practice is that he thinks everyone deserves a fair trial, despite the allegations against him or his background. So much so that he is willing to bend the law or use crypt methods to grant them one. I encourage you to read it and learn how Grisham's strong characterization softens your heart for Sebastian's unconventional personality. Number 9. The Rainmaker Next I have for you is the tale of a fresh law school graduate. Rudy Baylor officially kickstart his legal career with a high-profile insurance fraud case of a powerful American company. The firm is notorious for corruption and cutthroat practices. Rudy stumbled upon this biggest insurance scam in civil litigation's history by accident. During one of the practice sessions in his final semester, Rudy met Dot and Buddy Black. Through the Blacks, he learned that the multi-million dollars insurance company was mistreating its clients. So what's stopping him from uncovering the biggest insurance scam America's legal community has ever seen? Quite a few things to list. He has no job and struggling to make ends meet. He has yet to pass the bar exam. To top it all, he is about to confront the best of the best defense attorneys in the courtroom. The attorney can eat him alive in the courtroom. The legal thriller will make you emotional one minute and bite your nails the next. It is definitely worth a read. Number 8. The Guardians This one is going to take you on an emotional roller coaster, so buckle up. The story is staged in Florida where a lawyer Keith Russo is murdered in cold blood. His young black client Quincy Miller was framed for the murder and sent to prison. It was after 22 years that the Guardian Ministries decided to prove his innocence. They are a small group of lawyers who take wrongfully convicted cases. Colin Post is the founder of the Guardians. Colin finds out during the investigation that some powerful people are responsible for what happened over two decades ago. They have killed once and have no qualms about murdering another lawyer. Will Colin try to acquit Quincy or save his own life and let the poor guy rot in prison? Get your hands on it to find out. The engaging plot and impeccable storyline with plenty of twists will spellbind you. So it's a must-read for fans of legal thrillers and crime fiction. Number 7. The Reckoning It is one of Grisham's most intricate and suspense-filled legal tales. I've read it thrice, it's that awesome. So, there was no way I was going to miss mentioning it in this video. Here John Grisham has merged the genres of historical fiction and legal thriller to give his readers one hell of an epic legal crime thriller. Pete Banning was a World War II hero and a perfect son father, neighbor and member of the Methodist Church. But he fell from grace when one fine day, he just woke up, went to the church and shot his friend and pastor Reverend Dexter Bell dead. Just like that. You will pull your hair out guessing why he did that because Pete has only one thing to say, I have nothing to say. That's the only answer he gives to the cops, lawyer, judge and his family members. He is practically making it impossible for his legal attorney to save him from a life sentence or execution. What secret is he willing to take to his grave? 
Grisham makes you keep guessing till the end in his signature way. Number 6. Camino Island Let's take a break from heavy legal and murder drama with this lighthearted read. Camino Island is mostly free of Grisham's usual legalese. The story is about a heist that takes place in a vault under Princeton University's library. A couple of original manuscripts of F. Scott Fitzgerald have been stolen by a group of thieves. FBI believes Bruce Cable has a hand in the crime. He owns a bookstore in Camino Island, but also makes extra grand through the black market of rare books and manuscripts. On the other hand, a private security firm hires Mercer Mann to get information about stolen literary pieces. Trouble in Paradise comes when returning to the island opens some old wounds for writer Miss Mann. The combination of romance and emotions with a slight touch of criminal activity makes Camino Island an entertaining read for those avid readers who want a break from the nail-biting suspense and mystery of courtroom thrillers. Number 5. A Time for Mercy Now, we are moving to the best of the best of. John Grisham's works. A Time for Mercy once again takes the readers back to the legendary southern town of Clanton, Mississippi. The pages narrate the story of a young 16-year-old lad Drew Gamble. The teen boy is charged with murdering a local deputy. Jake Briggins is hired to defend the juvenile. Jake digs around and realizes that the child had no other choice. It was either to save his mother's and sister's lives or watch them die before his eyes. Pursuing the case puts his career and family at risk, but attorney Jack knows it's time to show mercy. The most exciting part of the book is when the trial process starts and half of the town wants the death penalty for the kid. The combination of an action-packed criminal case with a highly emotional storyline and twists and turns makes the book unputdownable. Number 4. A Time to Kill Next, I on a list is one of my top favorites of John Grisham's books. A Time to Kill was John Grisham's debut novel. It was rejected by many publishers before Winwood Press decided to print it. It became a bestseller immediately. It is a tale of racial violence, retribution, and justice. The story is inspired by a real-life case that John faced during his legal career. Tony Haley is a 10-year-old African-American girl who is raped and beaten to death by two white supremacist drunkards. Her distraught father Carl Lee Haley has little hope from the justice system and decides to avenge his little girl. He shoots both rapists with M16 and asks his friend attorney Jack Briggins to represent him in the court. This briskly paced, emotionally charged courtroom thriller will not let you have a single dull moment throughout the read. Number 3. The Pelican Brief Finally, we have reached the top three best books by John Grisham. They have become timeless classics of the writer. Watch the video till the end to learn about the remaining two. Darby Shaw is a law student who becomes a target after her brief uncovers the conspiracy behind the assassination of two Supreme Court justices. She realizes that her accusations have touched a sensitive nerve when her lover is murdered and she is forced to run to save her life. Her legal argument is dynamite for the White House's inner sanctum that can blow hotter than the Watergate scandal. They will stop at nothing to silence Darby. She is on her own. The only person who is willing to help her solve the puzzle is an ambitious journalist. How these two together face the entire establishment and unravel the cover-up makes this political and legal thriller a true page-turner. Number 2. The Whistler This is the second must, must read of John Grisham that sheds light on corrupt judges. It is rare but one cannot deny its occurrence. Greg Myers lost his license to practice law a few years ago because of shady practices. He got recently restored under a new identity. Lacey Stoltz deals with judicial misconduct cases, but so far she has found nothing that could make the hottest news. That is before Greg Myers approaches her with evidence about the misconduct of a female judge. He believes this could become the mother of all judicial misconduct cases in the history of the U.S. judiciary. She isn't just involved in illegal exchanges and bribes. The judge is also in tandem with a crime syndicate in the casino business to make quick millions in cash. Lucy and her partner Hugo take on the investigation. Of course, it's not smooth sailing when you confront the mafia. Get ready for action, thrill, flying bullets, and one hell of a bumpy ride. Here Lucy is trying to take down the Coast Mafia and uncover the most corrupt judge in U.S. judicial history. Number 1. The Firm The book stayed at number 1 in the bestsellers list of New York Times for around 50 weeks. It has been my number 1 favorite of John Grisham ever since I read it a few years back. Let's see why I have ranked it as the number 1 must read. The Firm was Grisham's first novel that got praised as a bestseller. It was also adapted into a movie starring Tom Cruise. 
The book tells the story of a young attorney, Mitch McDeer. He was the topper of his class at Howard Law School. He could have landed a job in any of the prestigious law firms in America. Till this point, he would Harvey Specter vibes from Mitch until he makes a deadly choice. He accepts an offer from a reputable law firm in Memphis. Things seem too good to be true when the firm leases a BMW for him. His school loans are paid off and a house mortgage is arranged. Mitch realizes soon the hard way that nothing is for free. The firm is involved in shady activities and the FBI wants Mitch's help to bring his firm down. Mitch has to stay silent if he wants to live. The alternative is to lose everything. Maybe his life too. You will enjoy reading every second of it. So grab your copy right now. Time to say goodbye for now. This was a brief list of the best John Grisham books to read for all those avid readers looking for a gripping legal thriller. These are standalone courtroom fiction, so you can pick anyone from the list. You can tell us in the comments below how many of these are already in your TBR. I'll be back with an exciting list of another genre soon. Till then, happy reading. Video helped you find the next book you were going to read, then like and share this video. Let me know in comment section on what type of books I should cover in my next video. Also, if you read one of the book mentioned in this video, share your review or thoughts with us. Subscribe this channel for more such awesome videos. Thanks for watching.